Okay. So I'm gonna be real. Like that's kind of what I'm about. I'm all about being your yourself, being true to who you are, right? Like, I, I think that's important. Um, and I'm really tired of being so afraid to voice my own opinions, okay? This is something that has been kind of like pushed into me for most of my life is my opinions aren't right therefore why are you expressing them and that's something that isn't okay right like at all that's not a way that I should think and this is something that I've been struggling with for years okay because in my mind even though I know that my opinions are valid I know that my opinions matter because they do everyone's opinions even if they're wrong because <laughs> let's be real there are some people whose opinions are just very very wrong their opinions do matter in a way even though it sucks um but like i don't know how I don't know how to change my mindset. And, like there were some people, there were some people in my life who I had this project for school and I was really, really excited about it. I thought it was gonna be so cool. And honestly, it came together really, really awesome. And I'm really proud of it. Um, but I had this idea. And it was before it was even a physical thing, something that you could look at and like hold and like really get into it. Um, I just brought it up to this person, okay? And I was so pumped, I was so excited. And this person didn't even acknowledge the fact that I was talking to them. And this is someone who should have cared like that's how important they were in my life is and 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 they should have cared and um they wonder why i don't talk to them anymore why like after that day i just stopped sharing my exciting news with them to this day i i don't really talk to them i don't really share anything about my life with them anymore and they don't like that they hate it in fact and if it were years ago i would have caved um and i basically would have like crawled back to them because they mattered to me so much and i'm happy and proud that i'm at a point in my life where I can say no because what you did to me wasn't right um, and I tried to make sure that those that I care about know how important like their opinions are and how much I support all the things that they do in their lives because I know how much it sucks to not have those people in your life who will be like, yes, that's awesome. You get it. Like, you're doing good. I'm proud of you. I, <laughs> it was literally to the point that, um, my, uh, suggested words, um, like when I'm texting is I'm proud of you. Like if I write, I'm it'll say so and then proud <laughs> you that's how much i say it like you don't i'm not even kidding like that's how much i say it all the time because it's important i i know how important it is and i want all the people that i care about to know how proud i am of all the things that they're doing in their life whether it be 
oh, I'm learning how to cook in the middle of this pandemic, or I'm doing halfway decent in my schooling, or I just graduated high school. My little sister just graduated high school and I'm so proud of her. Just every little thing. I think it's important to acknowledge, not necessarily celebrate, but just acknowledge and say, I'm proud because not everyone gets that. Not everyone has that person in their life who will say, I'm proud of you, who will say, good job, give you a pat on the back and say, okay, let's move on to the next thing. I didn't have that for a long time. And I want people to know that they have that. And if you don't have that, this is me right now telling you, I'm proud of you. You did it, whatever it was, you got an A on that test, you passed that class, you made it through the day. Cause I know some people, it's hard just making it through the day. You made it, I'm proud of you. Pick yourself back up and do it again tomorrow cause you got this. No, that's not saying that you gotta kick butt every single day because that's not that's not gonna happen not everyone can kill it every single day i know i can't i see people on instagram i see people on facebook i heck i see people in 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 my personal life who are killing it every day and and i know not everyone can because not everyone has that kind of energy not everyone can physically do that me personally, I can't. <laughs> and for a long time, I thought that the words I can't were bad, but they're not. Like, you need to acknowledge how your body reacts to things. My body, I can't push myself that hard every single day. I, I just, I can't because my body will tell me, no, we're done. And it'll just shut down, like completely. And, and it's important to acknowledge that, like know how far you can push it before you need to slow down. I just, I hope that everyone out there can learn what they can and what they can do and what they can't do. And that's not saying, oh, you can't do this. No, it's, I want you to learn your body, learn how much your body can take don't push yourself too hard but make sure you still challenge yourself you know like that's important too because in order to move forward you need to challenge yourself you need to take it to the next level but just don't kill yourself like don't don't push too hard because you're gonna hate yourself for it after and I've gotten to that point many, many times because although I do know my body, I used to just think I could keep going and going and going and going and going because I wanted to be like everybody else. But newsflash, you're not, I'm not. We're all different. And that's okay because it'd be boring if we were all the same. It just... You got to figure yourself out first. I hope all of you guys are out there and healthy. And I know not everybody is. My heart, my heart goes out to all of you who are struggling through this time and who have lost loved ones who... <sighs> this is a crazy time for all of us. can't imagine how hard it is for 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 some just know that you're loved and people are out there thinking of you and I know that's not enough but right now there's not much that people can do unfortunately um, I hope you're taking precautions and I hope you're looking out for each other and 
doing what you got to do to make it through the day. Much love.